Holy Cologne, Abuelita. Hector Lapo, Hector oh, Willie Cologne, Willie Christmas Smith, how's it going, brother? Michelle Bro Coleman, Tanya Bowers, Sharon Barron, Barna Brown, Daryl Vaughn, Peace and Love, Tanya Hicks, Lakeisha Dyer, Kerry Thompson. This is a little Willie Cologne and Hector Lapo, Abuelita. Kerry Thompson, Ella Flagler, Tiffany Williams, Nikki Barnes, hold it down. Wanda Ralph Harrison. Maria Cesarina Castro Rivas, good afternoon to you. Jacqueline Long, Fisa Shaw, Afisa Harris, Henrietta Harris. Uh oh. Na Nazil. <laughs> Hello, we find March. Good evening, good evening. I'm hanging in there, sister. Sam Young, Sharon Powell, Diane Murray, Jean Marie Collier, Kia Newton, Angie Brown, Marlo Lunnan. Good evening, good evening, Alisa Baytop, in the building, Jennifer Ahmad, Sheila Green, Connie Masario, hello, Millie Mills, good evening to you, she Shelly Patilla, good evening, good evening, God bless you, thank you, Regina Tyson, Brian Goosby, Tiffany Green, Little Willie Colon, Willie Colon, Hector Lapeau, Abuelita, Elizabeth Ramos, Cynthia Hardaway, Marari Feliciano, good afternoon. Wepa! Alisa Salam, no, no salsa for you today. Geraldine Davis, Felicia Austin Singleton, her birthday is coming up. Everybody wish Felicia Singleton a happy birthday. So, Santana, buenas tardes, mi amiga. Tina Holmes, Tonya Smith, Jewel Daniels, Adrian Michelle Bouillard, Brenda Hamilton, Kamisha Vine, Latanya Grimchain, Green Chain, Nadira Felix Mohammed, Louise Harrison, Hakeem Ross, Peter Figueroa, good evening, good evening. Dana Jackson, we're that mass. Marlene Crawford Walker, Reggie Tinson. Don't forget that mask up, Tanya Tucker, Deborah Petty, Robin Latif. Yes, sir. Good to see you back, my brother. Mary Box, Alice Thomas, Peace of Love in that South Ward, Hold It Down, Karima Norman, Tanya Bay, Cinnamon Buns, Cole Turner, Elizabeth Rainey, Cassandra Latrice, Doris Howard. I don't know what that is, Cassandra. You gotta explain it to me. Through faith. We understand that the words were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Hebrews. Thank you, Henrietta Harris, for that, as usual. Adi, the Nighting Owl. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Leon Coleman. Cynthia Taylor. That's right, that's what it means. Remember my grandmother. I'm going to talk about our grandmothers a little bit. Frida Barrow. Yes, sir. No, it's nothing. Call Kareem in the water department. Gary Thompson. Amy Love. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Sarah LeBron. Woody Wood. Justina Campbell Williams. Karina Andre. Marlena McLean. Carlin Brooks. Michelle Wayne. Regina Reynolds Muhammad. Patrice Pleasant. Merari Feliciano. Puerto Rico in La Casa. That was Willie Colon and Hector Lebeau. Hector Lebeau is one of the greatest, y'all. So Jada Brown, Brian Zachary, Louis Scott, Round Tree. We on Muhammad Ali Avenue currently right now doing testing. You should get over there if you can or tell people to get over there. Lala Ellerby, Rosalind Davis, Elisa Ray, Cynthia Thorne Merchant. Peace and love. Mary Moody Harris. Thank you. Renee Holman. El Monique Williams, Cole Turner, Lily Harris, stay cool and stay safe. Stay safe. Stay, stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. And the reason I played Abuelita today is because we need to use some of our old grandmother. We need to use our grandmother's common sense uh, during these times. Uh, and he talks about in the song, some of the sayings his grandmother used to say. 
you know. And, you know, our grandmothers used to make a lot out of a little bit, man. They stretched things a long, long way. They knew how to take uh, uh, the, the, the lemons the world gave them and turn them into lemonade, as we would say. Uh, our grandmothers took wildflowers and pig guts and turned it into a delicacy. Uh, you know, we, we, we can do a lot of things. If, if, if our grandmothers and our great-grandmothers were in charge today, we wouldn't be worried about wearing masks. They would take an old rag and make a mask out of it, a shirt and make a mask out of it. They'd take the cloth they find in their homes with a few rubber bands and strings, and you'd have a mask every day of the week if you needed one. Our grandmothers would make sure we stayed in the house and that we were safe. Our grandmothers cooked food and stretched the beans and and and, and put sugar and, and, and lemons in, 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 a, in, in a pitcher and made lemonade that lasted us for weeks and weeks and weeks at a time. They made the best Kool-Aid you ever had, right? They took the old cheese and made cheese sandwiches and salami sandwiches and mayonnaise sandwiches. They cooked the salami on the stove until it turned upside down and made a delicacy out of it. You know they did that in America. They probably did it in all over the all over the country, all over the world, where our grandmothers are from and the different nationalities that are represented in this city. Our grandmothers took care of us in difficult and painful times that we didn't even know what poverty was. We didn't even know what pain was. We go to grandma's house and she'd make a gift from scratch if she had to for Christmas or for your birthday. You appreciated your grandmother. She took time to keep you safe, uh, to keep you well, to let you know you were loved and cared for. Your grandmother uh, did good by you and your family. She taught you the old sayings that you live by today, that we pass down from generation to generation to generation. Our grandmothers fled some difficult and terrible times uh, in their countries and in the South and made their way to Newark and made a home here, made a home here, even in streets and blocks where they wasn't want, where they wasn't wanted in neighborhoods that shunned them and told them to get out and get away. We built a family and homes for ourselves here. And we last decades. They lasted through uh the they lasted through the First World War, the Second World War, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the Spanish flu, the, the Great Depression. Our grandmothers lasted through those difficult times and made it to today, made it uh, so our families can live on to today. And the reason I'm talking so much about our grandmothers is because it is in our hands now to protect the very people who shepherded us to these times. We have the power in our hands to do that, to shepherd, who shepherded us in these times to protect our grandmothers now, and our grandfathers, our grandmothers, the elders in our community who took so much abuse, right, who fought hard so we can make it here today. So we can complain about the things that they wouldn't even complain about, uh, like wearing a mask. We being forced to wear masks, they was forced to eat in the back of restaurants, to drink out of water fountains that were, that, that were terrible, to sit on the back of the bus, to live in poverty and make something for nothing. We complaining about masks, right? We complaining about staying in the house and socially distancing to save our own lives, and more importantly, to save the lives of our grandmothers, the very people who endured everything so that we could live. And I, I searched to find a song that would talk about our grandmothers. And I found Hector Laveau and Willie Colon, Abuelita, a beautiful uh, 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 song, a Salazar song uh, by our Latin brothers and sisters, Latinx brothers and sisters, our family. And it, it, is, a, it is the song for the day that reminds us of our grandmothers. And some of our grandmothers are still around, bless them take care of them, make sure that they live during this difficult moment as much as you possibly can. Uh, and that was the message for the day, uh, you know, brought to you by, by Willie Colon and Hector Lebeau. Uh, in terms of our numbers, the, we get our numbers from the state, you know, we, we get the raw numbers from the state, we break it down and calculate them uh, for Newark. The states, unfortunately, the state system is down. As a matter of fact, if you heard the governor's uh, uh, address yesterday, and I would urge you to go uh, look up the governor's um, press event yesterday. He has a daily announcement. Uh, yesterday, he made an announcement that some of the numbers were off, that they have to uh, uh, break, get the new numbers in, recalculate them, uh, and send them out to us. Uh, uh, prayerfully, everything is okay, uh, and that those labs have, have turned those numbers around properly. Uh, that they did not under-report or over-report or whatever report, that they did it correctly. 
uh, and the state gives us our numbers so we can crunch those numbers and give them to you. Uh, we, 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 we set up the testing, uh, the labs take the test, the labs call you and the labs report the numbers to the state uh, and the county. The state uh, reports the numbers to us. We take the numbers, we recalculate those numbers and we divide them up by zip code for you so that you know what it looks like for your neighborhood. Uh, today, we don't have any numbers because the state system is not uh, accurate today. Uh, and prayerfully, uh, it gets back online tomorrow and we'll be able to uh, give you an update of what is actually happening here in the state of New Jersey. Uh, you need to write the state about this but also, I just want to thank G Curates, and G is District Leader 13 in the West Ward, out of New, out of Georgia King Village. Just want to thank her today because she wrote a letter to Phil Murphy. I asked y'all to write letters to Phil Murphy to the governor, and I want to thank G for, for stepping up to the plate and doing it. And she wrote a letter on behalf of the Newark residents, particularly District 13, but all of us, in support of the request to ask all passengers arriving at Newark Liberty International Airport uh, uh, from the 22 high-risk states to have their temperatures checked when landing, be quarantined, fill out forms, and uh, to be contact traced if necessary, all of those things. So I wanna, I wanna thank uh, uh, G Curitan for uh, what she did uh, and pray that all of us do the same, but also want y'all to inquire about the state's uh, uh, system in terms of our numbers. Uh, we, we look forward to those numbers. We need those numbers. Those are very important for us uh, to be able to determine what it is that we need to do uh, in our city, the data is important, so we need to get that data correct. We also need to make sure uh, that the the Port Authority and the state of New Jersey are checking people as they come into our city from the airport, particularly from the 22 states uh, uh, that are showing positivity infection rates that are very, very, very high or that are growing in the opposite direction, New Jersey and Newark spent a lot of time moving our numbers in the right direction. We do not need uh, the second wave to come based on the fact that we weren't diligent as people moved in, moved back to our city, came back to the city of Newark from Florida and other places. And I say Florida because I see my neighbors and my friends and my family and people posting videos of themselves having a grand old time in Florida. Uh, and I pray that they have enough respect for us enough respect for their grandmother uh, to come home and quarantine and get tested if you can, right? Uh, if you want to submit a letter, you can submit a letter. Go to nj.gov slash governor slash contact. nj.gov slash governor slash contact. You can email them right there, nj.gov slash governor slash contact. Uh, and urge him to make sure that when people come to Newark from that airport, that they, in fact, uh, uh, our uh, temperatures check that they fill out a, a, a questionnaire about their symptoms and that if they're sick, that they are quarantined, that they're urged to quarantine, even if they're not sick, by the way, excuse me, they're urged to wear a mask. Or you can call 609-292-6000, 609-292-6000, 609 609-292-6000. Get engaged, help us uh, to make sure uh, that Newark is safe by doing those two things, nj.gov slash governor slash contact. Write a letter asking what's going on with the data uh, 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 for the state and, and that urge him to make sure that he signs an executive order that the uh, airlines uh, begin to check people's temperatures and do a questionnaire as they leave the airport, as they leave the airline to enter the airport uh, to come into the city of Newark. We need you to do that, right? And just want to thank everybody for wearing a mask and continuing to wear your mask, even in this unbearable and uh, ridiculous uh, level of heat. Uh, you know, wear the mask. Uh, if you need to go by yourself so you can breathe, please do that because we want you to be healthy in all ways from coronavirus and from heat exhaustion as well. We want you to go someplace, take the mask off and breathe a little bit, take, get in some fresh air. You don't have to be around a lot of people all the time. You don't have to be around a lot of people. Take time for yourself. Take a moment, step aside, get a breath, uh, 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 get yourself together, refocus, right? Concentrate, you know, meditate, uh, uh, breathe, and, and, and then go back and put your mask on uh, and encourage everybody else to do the same because you know what? It's working. 
And you have the power, you have the power in your hand, like I talked earlier, to keep people safe. You have the power in your hand to keep people safe. In fact, if we all wore a mask, we wouldn't, if we all wore a mask, we would have to worry about the spread of COVID-19 because COVID-19 would be going away if we all wore a mask. And I can't determine what everybody's going to do around the country, but I know what we have the ability to do right here in the state of New Jersey and in the city of Newark. Wear a mask, wear a mask, wear a mask. I want to thank all the young people for turning those masks, mask up videos. Those dance videos are awesome. Some of you have done incredible, incredible and awesome jobs. All of the young people out there who are turning in the videos and shout out to DJ Little Man for putting this contest together for us, partnering with the city of Newark to put this mask up campaign for young people together. That's the kind of innovation and imagination and creativity I was looking for. Thank you for that. And thank you for the video that you did. Uh, uh, I, I, I think it's going to be done tomorrow. They're going to be out uh, the video. And, and if you see that video, put it up, post it up, uh, encourage people to watch it and post it up themselves to get our young people to wear masks and, and get us to wear masks. I want to thank everybody who went to our website and pulled off the uh, cards that are urging people to wear masks on our mask up campaign have been uh, reposting those on your pages. We appreciate that uh, and all the help that you're giving the city to help us be safe. We appreciate your help and your engagement uh, in that. Right now we are at uh, Betty Shabazz until 8 p.m., Betty Shabazz Village until 8 p.m. at our pop-up testing site. We have Betty Shabazz Village until 8 p.m. Tomorrow we'll be at the Colonnades on Clinton Avenue. Clifton Avenue, excuse me, to Colonnades on Clifton Avenue. My grandparents used to live in the, uh, the pavilion, not the Colonnades, which is next to the Colonnades, the pavilion. My grandparents used to live there. Uh, but tomorrow we'll be at the Colonnades Apartments on 25 Clifton Avenue. On Thursday, we'll be on Bloomfield and Garside. We'll be on Bloomfield and Garside on Thursday. On Friday, we'll be at George Washington Carver Elementary School. George Washington Carver Elementary School. On Monday, We'll be at King's Family Restaurant. On Wednesday, we'll be at Science High School. And on Friday, we'll be at JFK Recreational Center. So some of these testing pop-up testing sites are places uh, that we're just going in areas where we think people need to be tested because they have not gone tested. And some of these places are places where there's where a hot spot, uh, where we have to go in and make sure we test more people uh, to drive the numbers down. One of those places is George Washington Carver Elementary School in that weekway section. Uh, the other one is over there on Garside, uh, 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 where we're going to be, Bloomfield and Garside. That's important. And, 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 and uh, you know, uh, the colonnades. We have to be over, over in those areas. But, but mainly Bloomfield and Garside and George Washington Carver Elementary School are hot spots uh, in those areas. Those are hot spots in those areas. Uh, and, and we have to encourage people to wear masks. And if, you go, and if you go to stores and people aren't wearing a mask, report them. Report them. Uh, we... we uh, intercepted a couple of flyers today. People are putting up their flyers, advertising their uh, their uh, uh, intent to disregard the city's uh, quarantine efforts, uh, disregard the city's uh, 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 health policy, and disregard the state's health policy. Uh, we are going to come down on those places very hard. Trust me, uh, you do not want to be one of those places and, and, and get yourself caught. It's not worth having three days of an incredible time at your restaurant and business, making tons of money, having people all out, crowded up on each other, not social distancing, not masks, drinking, sharing glasses, spreading COVID-19, and then getting your AB, getting, then getting your liquor license taken away from you, and then you don't have it uh, forever. And then figure, yeah, you're going to go to court, and you'll be in court battling, spending money. Uh, uh, all of the money you made in those three days will be gone in court battles trying to get the city to give you back your liquor license uh, because you did that or uh, driving the numbers up so badly uh, that we have to close everything back down again, including you and making everybody lose money. The, can you imagine the selfishness of that? The selfishness of that. That is incredibly selfish uh, uh, for you to do, particularly now since the state is saying that they're having trouble with these numbers. Uh, uh, and I, I'm just praying tonight, all our prayer warriors, we need you to pray tonight uh, to make sure that the numbers are correct. All our prayer warriors, we need you to do that uh, and, and, and intervene in this thing this evening uh, when they give us our numbers back. Uh, we, we have to assume uh, 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 the worst. Uh, we have to assume the worst. 
Uh, we prepare for the, we, we, we prepare, uh, always be prepared for the worst, always assume the worst. We hope for the best and pray for the best, but we assume and prepare for the worst. Uh, that's what we do. That's what we always do. And we always come out on top that way. But keep your prayers going. Uh, and all of these businesses, if you know these businesses, if you see flyers for local parties as well as parties at restaurants, let us know. Please, you're not snitching. You're keeping the community safe, particularly if you live in this weak wake section. If you live in this weak wake section on the other side of Bergen Street, where I live, right, where our infection rate is higher, uh, the third highest infection rate in the city. If you see parties, they're having backyard events. If people are having crazy cookouts or uh, birthday events where hundreds of people are coming out of their house in their backyard, report them so we can shut it down for the safety uh, of the people in this city. If you live in 07105, down in that East Ward, and you know that they're having these wild samba parties, the Brazilian events, the e events that are going on down there uh, uh, in, in the East Ward, or any event for that matter, uh, uh, any event, or if they're in Pennant and Court having wild events, report it, let us know. All those restaurants down there that, that are putting up flyers uh, saying they're having these events, let us know so we can shut it down, so we can shut it down. You have to protect your abuelita. You have to protect your grandmother. Come on, y'all. And if you live in the North Ward, right, and 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 in 07104 particularly, right, uh, uh, around Second Ave, around Third Ave, right, around summer, these are the places where it's hot. I'm telling you from some specific information. Around summer, around Third, around Second, around around that area, or or in the lower part, the lower part of Forest Hill, where it meets Bloomfield Avenue or Ridge, and all those places. Uh, uh, around there, if you live in that particular area, close to the Branch Book Park. Uh, part on that side, right? If you live there uh, and, and and you see things that are not supposed to go on, you should let us know and encourage your neighbors to do the same. Uh, that area there in the north, the area or over there by Summer and Second and Third and Mount and and uh, Mount Prospect, right? That area right there, Mount Prospect and Second and Third and Summer. That area, you know where that area is. Summer Avenue, Mount Prospect, Second Avenue, Third Avenue. All around in that area, that's that's a hot spot. The area on at the bottom of the Forest Hill area, at the bottom, close to Bloomfield Avenue, right next to Branch Brook Park. All around that area, it is a hot spot. It, it is it is a hot spot, and and you should do your best, your best uh, to make sure that those people are doing everything in their power uh, 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 to make sure the community is safe. Uh, and, and that people are, in fact, wearing their masks. If they're not wearing their masks, if they're not wearing their masks, you should report them. And that includes the police, too. So I got like a, a remark yesterday that said, oh, Mayor, you need to be talking about the police. I do need to be talking about the police. Uh, and, and, and I need the police to do their job uh, and keep you safe as well. Uh, uh, so I'm going to, as a matter of fact, I'm going to ask the health department, can we put these maps out? I really want you to see these maps. I'm going to ask the health department to put these maps out for us because I want you to see these maps uh, because these maps are serious that we have and it tells you directly uh, uh, where, where the issues are, directly where the issues are. I need you to see them. Uh, that way, you know exactly what to do. You know exactly what's going on in your neighborhood and you know exactly what to do, right? So I'm, I'm going to give you some of these neighborhood things again, if I can, if I can get it right. Here we go. So here are some hot spots, right? So it, it in the weak wake section here, that that is a uh, a hot spot in the weak wake section, right there, uh, and particularly particularly uh, 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 close to Elizabeth Avenue, right uh, on the other side of Bergen, close to Elizabeth Avenue. Uh, all of those streets uh, in that area, uh, from Shepherd uh, uh, on over, from Shepherd on over, uh, uh, up here a little bit up, in, uh, and it goes a little bit uh, up here, closer to uh, Lions Avenue, all around in that area as well, all in that area. Uh, th there is a part over here in the east. I'm trying to read this. Uh, the, the the font is a little low for me, so a little small. So forgive me. So over here on Thomas Street. Uh, on on uh, uh, close uh, to these areas here, close to Ferry, on the back side of Ferry, uh, on the right side of Ferry, I should say. Uh, if you're coming from Penn Station, on the right side of Ferry Street, on that on that side of Ferry around there is a hot spot. 
it is a hot spot or in the North Ward on 2nd and 3rd around Summer Avenue and the lower side of Forest Hill area next to Branchbrook Park is a hot spot. Uh, if you're in those areas, if you're in those areas, then you need to do your best to make sure uh, the people are, in fact, safe. Do your best to make sure that they're safe. I'm going to find that. I'm, I'm going to get it right for you uh, because I, I don't even like how I said it. So I'm, I'm going to find it and and I'm going to give it to you uh, the correct the correct streets before we get off of this phone. But let me say some of this other stuff before I run out of time. And I'm going to give that to you. We have a uh, I told you about the pop-up testing sites. The census is important. Uh, you know what? Trump issued a statement today saying that he's urging people not to count the undocumented to, to exclude them from the census count. He doesn't have the authority to do that. He's trying to sign an executive order. That should make us uh, uh, get as many people to fill it out as possible. And if you, uh, particularly all the folks that's helping us get undocumented residents to sign up, we need as many people to sign up as possible www.2020census.gov, 844-468-2020 in Spanish, uh, 844-477-2020 for Creole, uh, 844-330-2020 uh, for English as well. Uh, for the food relief program, please put your information up here for the food relief program, uh, and we will uh, deliver all the food to you Tomorrow, tomorrow is food delivery day. We've delivered almost 1.6 million meals out. We're going to continue to deliver up until September. Uh, tomorrow, uh, excuse me, tonight in Military Park, we're showing a movie at 7 p.m. Come on out. Knives Out is the name of the movie. Bring your blanket, your, your chair, and your mask. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be in Crutchman Elderly, Elderly Show and Going in Style. They both is at 7 p.m. and you need your mask uh, as well. Tomorrow, remember, the, uh, we're having virtual meetings. Tomorrow, July 22nd, we'll be talking about the Paps Blue Ribbon site on South Orange Avenue. It will not be a jail. Uh, the Paps Blue Ribbon site on South Orange Avenue community meeting at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Thursday, uh, it is a state of communities of color virtual town hall discussion. Don't miss that, man. That's going to be awesome. July 23rd on Thursday, we'll be there with uh, Mayor Michael Tubbs of Stockton, Mayor Asia Brown of Compton, California, Mayor Chokwe Antal Lamumba of uh, Jackson, Mississippi, myself, Angela Ride, and Color of Changes, Rashad Robinson. We're going to be talking about our ability to plan, plan and prepare and implement strategies during COVID, how difficult it was for us, uh, talking about the systemic racism and all the protesting and marching that's been going on. And we're going to talk about the 2020 presidential election. That's this Thursday at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. this Thursday. Some of y'all are being work. Tune in from work. Tell them the mayor said you could do it. Tune in at 11 o'clock. Live on our Facebook page, you can do that. And this Saturday, South Ward will be cleaning up. This Saturday, we'll be cleaning up. We'll be cleaning up. We'll be cleaning up South Ward. And you can pick up your stuff from Clinton Avenue Community Soundstage or Bo Porter Sports Complex. Um, and I'll be giving you the dumpster sites coming up. Tomorrow's um, Facebook Live, I'm going to have Superintendent Roger Leon on tomorrow. Superintendent Roger Leon will be on tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow and tell everybody to tune in. We'll be talking about and discussing our schools tomorrow. We'll be discussing the schools uh, tomorrow. So this is a good time for you. All of you guys have been asking the questions and hitting me up about what's going on with the schools. This is your time uh, to get your questions answered and to hear information directly from Roger Leon about what's going on with the schools. And I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking for this uh, actual um, bingo density map. I've gotten it for you, and I'm going to be able to tell you specifically so I don't have to uh, guess uh, the streets. So here are the specific streets, specific hotspot streets. We do a heat map. So what we do is we, we zone in on the areas where the positivity rate has been high, the infection rate has been high, and there, there are three areas in the city uh, that fit that, and I'm going to break it to 07104, 07105, and 07112. I'm going to tell you the exact neighborhoods, right? So uh, in, in, in 07104, uh, it is North 11th Street, North 10th Street, North 8th Street. Uh, so it's from North 6th to North 13th Street. Actually, excuse me, it's from North 5th to North 13th Street between, uh, uh, what is this, Park Avenue, uh, from Park Avenue uh, all the way to the border, there, 
uh, the, the, the other part goes into uh, Summer Avenue, uh, uh, Ridge Street, Highland Avenue, Lake Street, right? So it goes all the way from Summer Avenue all the way over to Lake, from Summer to Lake. At the bottom of that, so it, it, from Ridge, Ridge uh, over to, uh, uh, what is this? Third Avenue, right? Ridge down to Third Avenue. It, 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 so, no, excuse me, Ridge on this side over to uh, Broadway, right? Yep, Ridge to Broadway. There it is. And Summer Avenue is in the middle of that. So from Ridge Street to Broadway is where it is. Lake Street is on the outside of that. So excuse me, Lake Street is excluded from that. So it's from Ridge Street to Broadway. Uh, and it goes from 3rd Avenue, 3rd Avenue. And you can include 4th because 4th is right there. From 3rd Avenue uh, all the way up to, what is this, Delavan. Those are the, that, the, that, that's the area there uh, in the east. We have, uh, what is this, South Street, South Street, so Thomas and South right there, Thomas, South Street, uh, and it goes up to, where is this, it goes, what's this, Lafayette Street, Lafayette, and it goes here from Mulberry Street, Mulberry Street, Mulberry Street, all the way, all the way over to... What is the cross street here? Adams, 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 Adams Street, Marbury Street, and everything in between there, everything in between there. So here's, here's some streets that are affected. McHorter Street is affected. Peniston Street is affected. South Street is, is affected. Jefferson Street, Elm Street, uh, Walnut, Adams, you know, uh, Marbury, East Kenny, uh, uh, McHorter goes right through that. So it's like that lower part, uh, that kind of lower part of, uh, of the East Ward of 07105 down there, it's been affected the worst, right? Uh, we we don't, th that's as clear as I can get it based on those streets and the crossing everywhere. I'm going to try to be more concise. I'm going to try to be more concise on that uh, uh, tomorrow. I'm trying to be more concise uh, with that uh, tomorrow. But we have to wear our mask, y'all. And and those three areas, those three places that I outlined, are the areas that we are experiencing the most difficulty. That's where we're experiencing the most difficulty. So do your best. Uh, stay masked up. Report people who are not wearing masks. Report restaurants and places for the most part. More than you report people because the places are important because they're gathering. They got a lot of people. This is an excerpt from The Cure of Troy by Seamus Haney. History says don't hope on the side of the grave. But then once in a lifetime, the longed for tidal wave of justice can rise up and hope in history rhyme. So hope for a great sea of change on the far side of revenge. Believe that a further shore is reachable from here. Believe in miracles and cures and healing wells. It means once in a lifetime that justice can rise up and hope in history rhyme. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Superintendent will be there to talk to us about the schools. God bless.